trouble. Big trouble. Double trouble. I got double trouble. I got double trouble. I got double trouble. Twice as much as anybody else. Oh yeah. Elvis is on his way. I just can't rest till I make a man I've been for me. He's off to mod London and swinging Europe with a wild combination of music and mystery. Jewel thieves and jeweled women. She would be happy. Get shot for this. Okay, okay, I get the message. You don't have to hit me over the head. Yvonne Romaine, John Williams, and introducing Annette Day when Elvis Presley is in Double Trouble. With a clock, clock here, a clock, clock there. Stand in line until you think you have the time to spend an evening with me. And if we go someplace to dance, I know that there's a chance you won't be leaving with me. Then afterwards we drop into a quiet little place and have a drink or two. Then I go and spoil it all by saying something stupid like I love you. I can see it in your eyes that you despise the same old lies you heard the night before. And though it's just a line to you, for me it's true and never seemed so right before. Practice every day to find some clever lines to say to make the meaning come true. But then I think I'll wait until the evening gets late and I'm alone with you. The time is right, your perfume fills my head, the stars get red and oh, the night's so blue. Then I go and spoil it all by saying something stupid like I love you. Time is right, your perfume fills my head The stars get red and oh, the night's so blue And then I go and spoil it all By saying something stupid like I love you Brought to you in living color on NBC. Here we come, walking down the street. We get 
presents this program in color. The following is a special color telecast of the 39th Annual Awards of the Academy of Motion Picture, Arts and Sciences. Stay tuned for Felony Squad, Peyton Place, Rat Patrol, and Iron Horse, which will immediately follow this special program. One of the highlights of Academy Award Night each year for motion picture fans across the country, and especially for those here at Santa Monica Civic Auditorium, is the arrival of the glamorous celebrities. The star of great stature, Mr. Jimmy Stewart, accompanied by his twin daughters. One of Hollywood's most durable leading men, Mr. Glenn Ford. And here's Patricia Neal, former Oscar winner for her performance in HUD. Handsome Rock Hudson. And ever glamorous Ginger Rogers. Robert Mitchell. And with a Mary Poppins umbrella, Dick Van Dyke. This year's nominee, Anouk Aimé, for a man and a woman. Here's beautiful Raquel Welch, gold pajamas. Some people who claim that Hollywood friendships don't last. They usually end up in marriage. The next presenter, I'm happy to say, is a star with whom I have maintained a friendship for many years because he never proposed to me. Here is that sturdy cinema citizen, Mr. Fred McMurray. Up our, up our psychedelic world, the special effects men of the movie studios can do things with film that no pop, op, or hop had ever visualized. Thanks to the skilled artists who bring life to the most far-off demands of writers or directors, nothing is impossible. All that's needed is time, money, and the talents of men such as those nominated for this year's Oscar in special visual events. Special visual effects. They are Art Cruikshank for Fantastic Voyage, and Linwood, D, Linwood G. Dunn for Hawaii. May I have the envelope, please, Bill? Thank you. Gee, I'm more nervous than the uh, nominees. <laughs> and the winner is Art Cruikshank for Fantastic Voice. Sweet 
coming out here to present the next Golden Boy. Last time I saw him was in the wings of this theater. Last year, trying to break his Oscar in two because he said his horse deserved half of it. Mr. Lee Marvin. Well, it's a pleasure for me to recite the impressive roll call of the talented young ladies who have been nominated for the Best Actress, and to present a whole Oscar to the winner. The nominees are Elizabeth Taylor in Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, Vanessa Redgrave in Morgan, Anouk Ami, A Man and a Woman, Lynn Redgrave in Georgie Girl, Ida Kaminska, the shop on Main Street. Oh, boy. Now, how do you make the selection out of five of those girls? Huh? Please. Thank you. All legal and upright. And the winner is Miss Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> Accepting for Elizabeth Taylor. Miss Anne Bancroft. Um, Miss Taylor regrets very much that she can't be here tonight. Uh, I'm sure she must be very, very proud. The time has come to write the final headline in the big news story from Santa Monica, the Best Picture Award. We've seen film clips from the five nominated productions during the past couple of hours, and here is a delicate beauty who had the stamina to wait until now to bring us the chosen one. A former Oscar winner of such beauty, charm, and grace, we can only call her one thing, and that's an Audrey Hepburn. <laughs> We have already seen the excerpts from the five nominations for Best Picture. In alphabetical order, they are Alfie, a Sheldrake Films Limited production, Paramount, Lewis Gilbert, producer, A Man for All Seasons, a Highland Films Limited production, Columbia, Fred Zinnemann, producer, The Russians Are Coming, The Russians Are Coming, the Mirish Corporation of Delaware Production, United Artists, Norman Jewison, producer, the Sand Pebbles, an Argyle solo production, 20th Century Fox, Robert Wise, producer. Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, a Chenault production, Warner Brothers, Ernest Lehman, producer. For Best Picture of the Year, may I have the envelope for you? The winner is A Man for All Seasons. <laughs> 